I believe tennis is for everyone. Tennis is inclusive. Anyone can play tennis, regardless of where you come from, regardless of your circumstance, regardless of your ability, regardless of your of your um, environment. Anyone can play tennis. And now I see why some people think tennis is for the elite. Based on the view of tennis, it's played by a certain class of people and those who can afford tennis lessons and all the kids engaged. But I say this to you, to get into tennis, you need just two things to get into tennis, two things. First, you need to make up your mind and number two, you need discipline. That's all you need to get into tennis, discipline and persistence. That when you get into tennis, you would continue carrying regardless. And I'll tell you why this is just the two things you need to get into tennis. And you could see why these are just the two most important things you need to get into tennis. Persistence and discipline. So someone asked me, is tennis for everyone? Yes. Is tennis accessible to everyone? Yes. Like right. tennis is accessible to everyone just like you have light, water and air. And then they carry on. Why isn't everyone playing tennis? Well, most people misunderstand tennis. Their views of tennis still back in the 20s and 30s when tennis was played by a class of people in long pants, you know, grass, suits. I mean, I was recently asked by um, a very learned person that is tennis played in Africa. And that just goes to show the understanding of people in tennis and how inclusive it, it is. I know there are boundaries before, you know, in tennis, it's been put there. But these boundaries have been broken down by people like me. These boundaries have been broken down by people like me and more. And if you think you can play tennis because of it's a, a litis and it's just to some class of people, uh, listen to my story and some people like me. I started tennis at eight years old as a ball boy. I started tennis without no shoes. I played tennis with my bare foot and a wooden racket. In fact, the wooden racket was given to me by um, by by an adult who told um, I had discipline and I persisted because I turned up every day at the tennis club to pick to, to be a ball boy. So at eight years I was a ball boy, at 12 years I was representing my country. At 16 I was number one junior in the country. At 21 I was one of the best business school in the UK. In my 30s I represent one of the best, um, biggest organization in the UK. So in all days I've been able to achieve because of tennis. So, of course, there's boundaries in tennis, which is still up, but with the help of people like me who are willing to introduce you to tennis, put you on the right track, people like me who started to play tennis without shoes, it's even easier to break the boundaries and get you started as a tennis player. So, if you're still questioning yourself, is tennis for the latest? I just ask you one thing. I'm pretty sure you've got some sort of trainers on. So if you've got trainers on or any sort of um, sport shoes on, then just understand that you're one step ahead of me when I started. And all you have to come with, and all you have to come with, in addition to your tennis shoes, is discipline and persistence. Or should I put it in, in terms of tennis? If you've got a shoe on right now, you want love ahead of me. And you're on your way to start. Tennis is not just about hitting the ball over the net. When you become a tennis player, it grows your discipline. They say a tennis player is like a chess player combined with um, a light with boxing. So you're very ferocious, but you're, you're disciplined, very calm. And it's almost impossible to have other things in your head when you're in the tennis court. You, when you're in the tennis court, you can only think about one thing. So whatever problem you have, whatever you think going through, once you step on the tennis court, you're so focused on tennis, you can only think about one thing. 
So if you've got tennis, if you've got uh, shoes on, tennis is inclusive to everyone. If you have a shoe on on your feet already, you are halfway there. Everyone can play tennis. All ability, all disability, regardless of height, shape, origin, you can play tennis. And with the help of people like me, just know you're one nail up already. The good thing about tennis is everyone is welcome. In tennis, we don't see color, we don't see height, we don't see race, we don't see ability, we don't see disability. We only see two things, the white line and the yellow ball. So welcome to tennis, where you are special. <laughs>